Hi, this is Mike from Motion Instruments, and today I'm going to show you a new feature in Motion IQ that allows you to uh, use a second phone, like an Android phone or maybe a cheaper uh, iPhone, um, to take with you on your bike when you record, and then send those recordings to another device like an iPhone or an iPad to do the uh, analysis. So I'm going to show you how it works real quickly here. On the left, I have the Motion IQ app running. And on the right phone, this is um, uh, this is an old iPhone SE I have, and I've got the Data Logger app installed. You can download this app from the App Store. It's free download. Um, and if you run it, it just looks like this. It doesn't do anything until it gets the setup information from the Motion IQ app. So we're going to go into Motion IQ and go to the About page. Scroll down to the section uh, uh, where the settings are, and there's a data logger link icon. Tap on that, and that gets you into this new feature. Um, tap on Configure, and on this page, we can set up the bike model and some of the uh, settings for the bike. Um, you would set this up just like you would in the regular app. It's very similar. You can change any of these uh, settings, and when you're done, tap on Send Email to Phone at the bottom. This will bring up an email sheet. Um, just type in the email address of your second phone and hit send. That's it on that phone. So now over on the data logger uh, device in my email, here is an invitation. So tap on it. That's what it looks like. Um, in the email, there is a link that will take you to the App Store to download the data logger. Um, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. At the bottom, you'll see the invitation. Um, attachment. So we're just going to tap on that and that will bring up this list. Tap on logger and now we're in the data logger app and it's selected my bike model and my settings have been selected. Um, so all we have to do here is the same thing you would do in the regular app. You would um, click on Bluetooth permissions and then attach your fork and shock sensor the same way you, you normally do. Here's my shock sensor. And then once we get these uh, connected over Bluetooth, we're going to hit calibrate at the bottom. And uh, same thing, pick up the bike um, and hit done. Okay, and now back on the main screen, you can see we've got the fork and the shock connected. And if I tap on the graph, uh, it'll give me a real-time view where I can see that my, my sensors are, in fact, working. Um, I can hit set sag at the bottom. Um, and then you would get on the bike, position yourself, and hit set sag. That will take a snapshot of where your position of your sensors are. This uh, sag results gets included in your recordings. So just hit OK. And then when you're ready, hit record at the top. Uh, it's going to ask you for location permissions. Um, I highly recommend you do this because it will give us elevation data and speed data, which makes the analysis better. Um, and then uh, that's it. You can put the phone in your pocket and uh, go ride the bike. And um, you can record for five minutes or 30 minutes or what have you. And when you're done, uh, just hit stop. And this will bring up uh, the notes. So you can type in any. These are all optional. Um, all your fork settings, shock settings here. Um, you can uh, give the ride a score. <laughs> whatever, whatever is useful. And then hit save. And the um, recording is sent up to the cloud. So tap on the cloud button, and that will show the list of all, your, all of your recordings and their status. So if you're not connected to the network, you know, maybe you have an iPod Touch, which has no cell coverage, and you're out on the trail, or uh, um, maybe you're out of range, um, those recordings will get queued up uh, and saved so that when you do get in, an, into your, your house or hotel or what have you, and you're on Wi-Fi or a network, uh, those recordings will get sent up to the cloud later, and you can check your status here. Okay, so then now I'm going to go back over to the Motion IQ app and go to the results uh, page, and it's going to refresh, and you'll see the new recording just came in. If I tap on that, it um, gives me all the data for the recording I just made. It, it's a, it, this is only a few seconds of data, so there's not much here to look at. But, it, but this, this is the general um, idea of how the app works. So once I, now that I have the link set up, I can just use my 
data logger app anytime I need to. Uh, all of these recordings will go to the cloud and get synced over. And uh, just like all other Motion IQ features, you can have Motion IQ installed on several phones or iPads and all of your, all of your uh, data, um, uh, as long as you're using the same iCloud account on all of those devices, they all have access to the same, the same recordings. Um, they will sync automatically if you have the uh, iCloud turned on. Uh, that's, that's it for this feature. I hope uh, it's useful to you. And as always, uh, send feedback if uh, you want to see new features or have any you know, trouble using it. Thanks.